So, <coughs> uh, attending teaching uh, and the, the growing of the mind, the development of our heart, is the root of is the root of uh, enlightenment. Of course, there are very many levels of people who call ourselves Buddhists. At one level, <coughs> the basic level, many people want to uh, just want to pray and then do well in life. Other levels, people just want to have a peace of mind. Other level, another level, some people want to have, uh, some people want to have uh, the thought that they want to be free from the cycle of birth and death. Another level, some people want to be saviors, to save other people from suffering. And another level, some people want to be Buddha. But what is the root of all this? The root of all this has to start from listening to Dharma. Buddha spent 45, according to the Theravada tradition, Buddha spent 45 years to teach. And if we degenerate to become uh, the praying or praying crowd or the devotee crowd, this is what Devadatta would have wanted. If we <coughs> truly, uh, if we study and uh, reflect upon what Devadatta did, which is the cousin of Lord Buddha, what Devadatta wanted was a more ritualized uh, version of Buddhism. What he really wanted was that everybody to do many pujas, to enforce strict vegetarian, to make sure people's uh, sangha and uh, practitioners uh, or sangha they they cannot live in homes but only can live in under the trees. Yeah, they cannot live in uh, shelter. So a very very extreme practice. And Devadatta also wanted people to uh, wanted like a holy just, you know, for the to to, to have only the rituals and uh, and praying and, and, and these were other things that Buddha rejected. And because Buddha rejected that, <coughs> Devadatta got very angry. Because Devadatta wanted, he thought that you know Buddha. He he thought that Buddha was a charlatan, fake. And <clears throat> to cut the long story short, we have to look at what is the case for ourselves in your home homeland, in your place where you live. What is the what is the situation? With your with our life, the situation with our life, <coughs> many a time we are doing what Devadatta wanted. Pray for, pray for our own good life and and stuff like that. So truly, if we talk about Buddhism, it's not that we should not pray for a good life. But we should think about what constitutes to a good life. What constitutes to a meaningful life? This is more important than just a good life. Uh, what is a good life? Good life to many people is something that is measurable, which is considered uh, safe in the eyes of others. Like if you have how much uh, food in your house, you can measure, right? If there is a long winter, how much food you have in your house, how much money you have, 
how much, uh, <coughs> of course, money today is really not very reliable. Nothing is really very reliable, right? Uh, sometimes US dollar strong, sometimes US dollar weak, sometimes Euro strong, sometimes Euro weak, sometimes Singapore sto dollar strong, sometimes Singapore dollar weak, sometimes ringgit strong, sometimes ringgit weak. So the thing that we are attachment also is we have so much attachment and praying for is also not reliable. So at the end of the day, in Singapore, some somebody to ask me, Ramaji, I bought a machine, and then uh, I want to make my own products. So he bought the machine, he made his own product. In the end, now he wants to give it up. He got his own machine. He made his own product. Right? It was very successful. He earned the money. But he, he so he got what he wanted. He saved money. He earned money. He became wealthier. You know what he lost? Do you know what he lost? He lost time with his young children. He lost time with the wife. He lost time at home. He lost the, uh, the time to be able to eat dinner with family. He lost time to sleep early. He gained one thing and lost everything else. He, lo he said also he lost time to come temple. He lost the time to listen to Dharma. He became enslaved by money. So, further on, I mean, I want, to, I want to let you all know that money is like an application in your mobile phone. Your car should be like an application in your, in your mobile phone. All these are apps, applications for you to play with them. Even your, even your life, even your work, your name, fame, honor, this is a application for you to do what is inside. Actually, we are all control freak. Correct? Hello? Yes. Admit that. Yes. We are all control freak. Huh? Why are we control freak? That is more important because we are all insecure. So does it mean that it is bad being a control freak? There is no right, there is no wrong, there is no good and there is no bad. It's just that that is called during that time because everybody is insecure, everybody will become a control freak. Everybody needs to have some sense of hope and control for them to feel safe and secure. Correct? The simplest one is this. If you sleep at night, and you cannot feel safe. Can you sleep well? Huh? Very simple. Somebody say, Oh, Ramachi, you prove to me. Prove to me that what you say is true. I say, very simple. Why don't you just go to sleep in the, the cemetery across the, the... Go sleep in the cemetery. Huh? You say, cannot. Huh? I say, why? Oh, I say, got ghosts. I say, oh. <laughs> I say, the thing that kill you may not be the ghost, you know. There are two things that will probably kill yourself. He said, what? Not ghost, then what? Very, very blunt fella. So I just said, number one is your mind will kill you. Right? Number two, scorpions and snakes will kill you. <laughs> huh? Because even the bandits and the robbers don't want to go there at night. <laughs> Make sense? Yes. Right? So it is the mind and, the, and the, the scorpions and snakes. Right? So don't keep on thinking that, you know, oh, we don't need to, we don't need this, we don't need this. Many of us like to react. So sometimes I just, you know me, so I just, most of the time I don't wear robes, I just, sit and uh, pretend that I don't know anything and some people talk and then I can, I can listen to the real 
their real inside story. Uh, most of the time, uh, when the, the inside story come out, oh yeah, I feel like I feel like climbing climbing down into the well. Uh, it make me feel that really we need to. It make me feel we need to teach. But at the same time, it makes me feel that people don't want to help themselves. People don't want to help themselves. They don't want to help themselves and they only want to wait for somebody else to help them. Only want other people to solve their problem. Make sense? Yes. Right? So if we look, very, if we observe clearly, <coughs> we observe, let's observe If Buddha spent 45 years to teach and then we just want to pray for this and that and then we don't, you know, really want to improve the, our mind and meditate, you know, some people can recite Om Mani Padme Hum or Amitabha for a whole life, right? You, want, you know what is the method that you can do even greater than whole life Amitabha or Om Mani Padme Hum? You want to know? Huh? Serious? I don't think you all would do that. You only all want to know. That's it. <coughs> For those in Malacca, us Ani children, to lead you all to read the point of Lamrim and meditate. Reflect upon the suffering of hell. Reflect upon the suffering of hungry ghosts. Reflect upon the suffering of animals. You know? She has gone through Lamrim course. Take your notebook out and meditating on the Lamrim path, the path to enlightenment, has more merit than reciting Om Mani Padme more merit than reciting Om Namo Amitabha. Because those people who just want to recite Om Mani Padme or Namo Amitabha, they belong to another category of beings who Maybe they are not educated. Maybe life is already too tiring for them. You know, what they want is they want hope. They are hoping for our next life. Or they just, they, they, they are not very intelligent. So just focus on, oh, Amitabha, Amitabha, Amitabha. Correct? They ask you, don't think so much. Think only Buddha and recite Amitabha. So, so that's why it's called the skillful Dharma. Chinese called Fang Bian Fa. Right? They have this term, right? Oh, this is the Fang Ji Le Si Jie. Fa Man Wei Fang Bian Fa. What means Fang Bian? Easy. Skillful for ordinary people who have, uh, who cannot think, who cannot, ref uh, what do you call, reflect. <coughs> Only very good in reacting. So there's more. But this is also good practice. Good practice for what? Like I said, we are all control freak. We we cannot. There are, we we want to control everything, but we cannot. There are many things beyond our control, right? Who is the ruler? Who is the who is the king or who is the ruler of the government? Who is the governor? This and that. Most of ordinary people have no control. We cannot control <coughs> the weather. We cannot control many, many things. I think you know better than me what we cannot control. So what we can control, we exercise our strongest power. Sure, control husband, control wife, control children, control uh, family, uh, control what else? Uh, Control the, the helper, the maid, or anybody who wants go, 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 all we control. This will make you become unlikable person. Uh, so what does it mean that what we should do? 